Hi, I'm Joe Lamb, Poly Video Specialist here at Jenny, and today I'm excited to show you the brand new setup process for the Poly Studio X52 and TC10. So let's get started. First step for installing is after we get the display clamp installed, we're gonna adjust it above the TV, make sure that it is centered, and then once you have it there, you can connect power, networking, and on this side, we're gonna connect into HDMI port one. Now that we have the X52 in place, we can connect the TC10 to power and networking and install the kickstand. So now that we've got the X52 and the TC10 powered up, we're gonna go ahead and get them connected. So we're gonna select get started. It's gonna show you the network and regional details for the TC10. Select next. And there are two modes you can set it up in, room controller mode or standalone mode. For our purposes today, we're gonna select room controller and then next. And now it's going to try to find the X52 on the network. And as long as they're on the same network, it shouldn't have an issue. But if you do, you can select manually connect to a room. And then the display that the X52 is connected to will have the IP address. So we're gonna go ahead and type that in. And then next. And now it has some symbols that we're going to type in to make sure that they are paired to the correct system. And now they have successfully paired. And it's going to give you the steps to do poly lens. But for today, we're gonna to skip that part of the process. And then it's gonna ask you to select your video platform. So we're gonna select Zoom Rooms, and then we're going to select Next. It's gonna take a little time to install Zoom Rooms on both the TC10 and the X52. If there is a software update available, make sure that you go ahead and update. This part can take some time. Everything's gonna restart so that it can open up in the Zoom Room platform. Take just a moment. And now that it's booted up into Zoom mode, we're gonna let it uh, pair with the controller. And now it's asking us to sign in. If you don't know how to build a Zoom room in the Zoom admin portal, stick with us. Now to create a Zoom room, we're gonna to go to Zoom on the web, go to your account. On the left-hand side, we're gonna scroll down to the admin section, where we're gonna select room management and then Zoom rooms. Next, we're gonna select add room. Make sure that the room type is Zoom Rooms for shared spaces. Then we can add a room name. Next, we're going to add an email address for the calendar. This can be a Microsoft resource account or just any 365 account. Then we're going to select finish. Now that it's finished, we have an activation code that we can use to sign in on our device. Now that we have our Zoom Room license assigned, we can go ahead and select sign in. And we're gonna sign in via activation code. Now that we have it uh, signed in, you are ready to start having meetings. Thank you for joining me today as we set up this Poly Studio X52 and TC10 for Zoom Rooms. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and contact your Jenny representative if you have any questions. Thank you.